So tell us a little bit about what exactly, for somebody who's never known anything about Camp Discovery before, what does it do? Camp Discovery, well, I was brought, like you said, I was a therapist. So I was mm -hmm. brought in to help the development team, our artists and our programmers kind of capture um, what goes on in the therapy session into this app. And so this app um, encompasses a lot of uh, lessons for our kids, uh, a lot of different um, styles of play. So there's receptive identification, so basically just saying, you know, touch, you know, book or touch um, caterpillar or something, and the kid has to touch it and ID it, mm -hmm. um, which is an important skill. There's matching, there's sorting, and they're all in here. And so what we've done is taken um, our set of curriculum and found the lessons that would, you know, kind of fit into an iPad. Not all lessons that you, te you, know, you teach uh, are going to work um, in this format. Um, so we've taken the ones that we found were most important and easily translated and put them in here. And, and what it, for me, what's fun about it is that you've created a world that a kid can go into. It's called Camp Discovery, and the graphics are beautiful, uh, and they get better and better over time. I'm, I'm kind of amazed by the things that you guys do, but it literally now is this beautiful world that a kid can go into, and there are paths that they can go down, and when they go down those paths, they get an opportunity to learn something along the way. So what I love about this as a parent is that my kid is gonna be happy, first and foremost, and secondly, we know that technology is so reinforcing to a kid so I can hand him this iPad and I know that he'll be happy but the fact that he's learning the same things that he would have been learning in a therapy session in the same way that he would have been learning them that's extraordinary yeah I think what you said right now the in the same way that they learn is very key mm -hmm. um, a lot of apps you play now they're very fun mm -hmm. uh, I think the issue we found with a lot of them is that they lead to frustration in a lot of kids because there's no help there's no error correction. So, you know, if it if the objective says to touch the red balloon and they touch the blue one, it doesn't do anything. And right. it may it might give a sound or something like, oh sorry, but they are allowed to get the answer incorrect over and over and over and over. So there's right. no real teaching process. It's right. it's a kind of just process of elimination, which is um, difficult for a lot of our kids. And yeah. so what we've done is taken the prompting and the error correction and made it so when a kid starts, it's very simple, it's very easy, uh, and it builds upon that. And if they do have a mistake along the way, it'll bring them back. And so we're trying to always ensure success as they move forward through the curriculum. Yeah, as a former teacher, I, you know, I was in a conversation with somebody yesterday about what is actual teaching. And because uh, it seems like the world has gone in this mode of worksheets uh, where, you know, we'll give a kid a worksheet and we'll call that teaching. And I got really hepped up yesterday <laughs> saying a worksheet is not teaching. If, if I wanted to teach you physics, I wouldn't put a worksheet in front of you and walk away and think, oh, I'm sure that Christopher got it from the worksheet. I would never do that. Um, but but teaching, I, th I think the idea of teaching has become much more slippery to people like they just literally don't know what to do but this app actually teaches the child and it rewards them when they get it right and it rewards them with things that they have chosen so it's meaningful to them correct yeah and so that's another um, key component of the app is when I was brought in I think one of the things I loved about therapy was finding what motivates a kid so you know, it doesn't matter what you're working for or what you're working on if the kid doesn't want to learn it or has no reason to get past or through that, you know, that boring part. Yeah. Um, they're not going to learn. They're not going to be motivated to push through any times if they get something incorrect. So we start each, uh, I guess, play session with a preference assessment. So there's six different buttons and you can hit um, whatever one the child picks the most. We record that and then it, it gets played more often during their uh, as a reward for when they get correct answers. It's really pretty remarkable.